All right, now we have already received the June security patch update for Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, but a day before that, I could see an update for the camera assistant application on the Galaxy Store. And the changes or the improvements with this update for this application would only work after the June security patch update on the S23 Ultra. As you can see in the change log, the version number is 1.1.02.2. On the top, it shows the supported version, One UI 5.1 or higher. And the supported models are S23, S22, S21, S20, Note 20, Fold 4, Flip 4, Fold 3, Flip 3, Fold 2, and Flip. Basically, the application is available on some of these flagships, and this update will be applicable on these phone models. Now, if you are new to this camera assistant application, this app enables us to customize the camera settings as per our preferences. There are many additional features which can be enabled using this particular camera assistant application, apart from the features or settings which we already have on the default camera app. Now, coming back to the update, let's read the change log. It says, add the adaptive pixel for S23, delete the fast capture of high resolution for S23 model. Now, this change log is quite confusing. Usually when we get the updates for Samsung applications, the change logs are always confusing. We do not get clear picture about what exactly has changed or improved. And this time again, it just says added the adaptive pixel, delete the fast capture of higher resolution. Let's go ahead and open the camera assistant settings. We can directly open it from the application or you can go to camera and go to camera settings where you will see camera assistant option. You can open it right from here. Now, as you can see, we've got a brand new toggle here called adaptive pixel. Of course, this is quite clear that this adaptive pixel toggle has been added, but what's confusing is adaptive pixel is something which is already there available on the Galaxy S23 Ultra for the higher resolution images. As you can see, it says reduce noise in low light shots by combining multiple lower resolution frames into the final high resolution picture. This is something which was advertised when the Galaxy S23 Ultra was launched. And here again, we are seeing a toggle to turn it on or off on the camera assistant settings. Basically, this feature enhances the low light shots by combining the multiple lower resolution frames into a final high resolution picture. Now, I'm not really sure whether this particular switch or toggle is gonna to make any changes on the actual output or not. I couldn't really see much of a difference when I took the pictures with this toggle enabled and disabled. The results were pretty much the same. Then the change log says, delete the fast capture of high resolution. If I'm not wrong, this means the fast capture of the higher resolution images has been been disabled now. As you can see on camera assistant, we have got capture speed option here. We have got prioritize quality, balance speed and quality, prioritize speed. If you have selected prioritize speed and if you take the image in high resolution like in 200 megapixel mode, the fast capture would be disabled. This is what I understand and if I'm wrong, you can correct me. Do let me know in the comment section whether you're able to figure out what exactly this means or not. Drop a comment and let me know. This is the all new update for the camera assistant application which will be active after you update your phone to the June security patch level. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know what do you think about this update, whether it makes any sense to you. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.